Hi everyone, my name is Ollie. I'm a junior doctor living and working in England, working as part of the NHS. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is just going to be a really quick news update. I know I talk about a lot of different things on this channel, but I figure, look, there's a reasonably sized audience. Lots of you are people considering applying to medical school, already in medical school looking for careers advice, or sometimes qualified doctors or medical students in other parts of the world looking to come to the UK. And I try to keep you guys abreast of the important things that are going on in the UK medical space and more widely, A, that I think are important, that everyone should know about, and often B, the things that I don't think people talk about enough or things that aren't obvious, perhaps, or widely talked about that I think people should know about. And the long and short of this video is that there are some processes going on or not going on, which means that UK medical students and doctors, as of 2024, may no longer be able to apply for residency, that is specialty training, in the United States of America. Now forgive me, because I'm gonna need my phone. There's a lot of acronyms to come, but all of this is because of a recent announcement from the Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates, which is the ECFMG, and this is the body that is broadly responsible, and I need to get my head around this myself. This is the body that is responsible for regulating entry to the US medical workforce, essentially. It's this body that is responsible for checking that foreign medical graduates, that is doctors who graduate outside of the US, they make sure that their medical education is up to standard for those doctors to be able to come and work in the US. That's the simplest way to think about it. More pragmatically and usefully speaking for those who might be watching this video, of foreign medical students and doctors who would wish to come and do residency in the US and ultimately become attending physicians. I'll link everything relevant in the description below so you can go and have a read of it and see what you make of it yourselves. But this body, the ECFMG, has announced that effective as of 2024, so just over a year really from now, a year and three or four months, eligibility for both the USMLE, that being the step exam, step one, step two, step three, that you take to match into residency in the US and then practice independently as a doctor, so the USMLE, and employment as a doctor, full stop, will be limited from 2024 to graduates from medical schools or medical programs that are recognized by the WFME or the World Federation for Medical Education. And to some degree, this is fair enough. Like you've got to have standards and regulation and proper process to make sure that anyone who's gonna come and work in your country has a properly accredited medical degree. And most countries in the world, in one way or another, are actually very protectionist over their medical training and their medical workforce. The UK, as of late, is much more towards the slack end of that spectrum, but that's essentially because we have an ongoing workforce crisis that the government really doesn't want to do anything about. Now, to put this into some sort of context, right, for us in the UK, to have your country's medical degrees recognised by this body, the WFME, that in turn the ECFMG pays attention to and looks towards for everything being correct and up to standard. The accrediting agency for each country is the body that regulates that country's medical degrees. So for us in the UK, that's the GMC. The General Medical Council is responsible for checking that all medical degrees awarded by UK universities meet a minimum standard and are up to scratch. What that means is that the GMC, as our accrediting agency for the UK, would have to apply to the WFME and ask it to recognise the UK's medical degrees as being up to standard and in keeping with the rest of the world's standards. If that were to happen, come 2024, there wouldn't be any problem because the WFME would recognise the UK medical degrees, which the GMC would have to apply for that recognition. And then the ECFMG would look to the WFME and say, cool, everything is in place. UK medical graduates can come and apply for the step exams and come and do residency just as they always have been able to. However, the long and short of it is that as of right now, as I'm publishing this video, the GMC has not applied for and is not in the process of applying for this recognition. And if you want to see some sort of evidence of this, what I'm looking at to source this video, I've again left the link to that document in the description below, which shows you 
all of the accrediting agencies that have applied to the WFME for that recognition. And the United Kingdom, and in turn the GMC, is not on that list. Which means that as of right now, as far as any of us are able to tell, the GMC has not made move towards asking for this accreditation. So to round things up, what does this mean for us going forward in the UK? As far as I'm able to understand it, it means that any UK medical student who graduates in 2024 or later, their medical degree will no longer be recognised by the WFME and therefore not recognised by the ECFMG in the US, which means that those students who graduate in 2024 or later will not be able to apply for residency in the US. You will not be able to do your specialty training in the United States. Or even, seemingly, if I understand the word incorrectly, move there to work as a doctor even after you complete your specialty training in CCT in the UK. But I am very happy to be corrected on that if someone thinks I'm reading into this wrongly. But either way, I just thought it was important to flag this up because I know that there are lots of people increasingly in UK medical schools who want to study for their step exams and go and do residency in the US, or indeed go specifically to medical school wanting to make that transition. The GMC is the keystone in all of this, so I would recommend if you want more information, having a read around and contacting the GMC directly, because it's seemingly up to them to ask for this accreditation. So if anyone fancies doing it, please shoot them an email and let us know in the comments how you get on. But thanks very much for watching, guys. Please be sure to hit that like button for me, leave a comment, subscribe, and don't forget to go and check out my website, Ollie burton.com to be kept abreast of news and videos just like this one. Take care. See you soon.